Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well today we're gonna be doing something we haven't done in a minute, y'all. We're gonna do another catch, clean, and cook. And today we're gonna be doing black drum on the half shell. Amber and I have been on a sick black drum bite lately. And hopefully it stays going. I'd like to get a couple more days on them. But we're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook today. We're gonna do it on the half shell on the grill. So sit back guys, check out these clips of Amber and I catching some black drum. Then I'll see you guys at the cleaning table and we'll see y'all in the kitchen. That's a big one right there, yeah, babe. Get a net. I got it. Oh man. Just take him, just take him <laughs> okay, easy. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. He's as big as I thought he was. He just fought he's really fight. Yeah, he fought really good though. You definitely didn't think he was that, that, that small. <laughs> awesome, babe. <laughs> cool. Alright guys, I'm hooked up. I think this is a big one. Uh, it's a decent one. I'm not gonna say it's a big, big one, but yeah, oh, definitely. It's definitely decent, though. It's definitely a decent fish. Right, let me move this rod out of the way. There we go. Nice one. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, he's good. Hold on. Get over there. Hold on, just let me bring him to you, babe. Let me bring him to you. That's a good cook very good, though. He's not. Oh. No. Okay. Hey, hold on, just wait, babe. I'll bring him to you. I'll bring him to you. There we go. Awesome. Nice. Got one. We got one. It's number two. I wish yours is bigger. Huh? Yours is bigger. No, that one looks bigger. Yeah, no, yours is bigger. Well, we came for black drum, and we got black drum. Alrighty. There's a almost a night, almost 19 inches. See, that one's bigger. I don't think so. About the same size, I think. All right, two drum. Cool. All right, guys, we're at the cleaning table. Here's our black drum. These are two of some of the smaller ones that we've gotten the past couple trips Amber and I have taken. Two really nice black drum. So what we're gonna do today, guys, is really simple. We're just gonna take the fillets off. We're not gonna skin them. We're not gonna scale them. We're just gonna do that and we're gonna do black drum on the grill on the half shell. It's very popular with redfish, but you can do it with black drum. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna start getting this ready. There we go. Black drum are a fairly easy fish to clean. They're not as hard as a redfish or a sheep's head. So get a little entry point here where you can push your knife all the way through like that. Put some pressure down, go along that backbone and right off the tail. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, we're gonna peel this meat off the backbone. Just like that, all the way down. Go across those ribs, just like that. And there we go. And there you go, guys. There's a nice little black drum half shell, just like that. Go ahead and do the other side, same way. They do have some pretty tough scales. 
here. Just go along this backbone. Come about halfway down, make a good entry point about where this fin starts. Push down, slide along that backbone, go out the tail. Now we'll start peeling it back. Go, go on top of the rib bones. There you go. Another really nice half shell. All right, guys. Well, we're in the kitchen, and we got our four black drum fillets. I'm just going to put a little bit of salad dressing on them. Just like this. Super simple. And then we're going to put some black and red fish magic all over it. And that's it guys that is what we're looking at right there all right let me go get the grill fired up and we'll get these on the grill we're running out of daylight so we gotta hurry up all right guys we got the grill all fired up it's at 350 degrees right now almost 400 so we're gonna go ahead and put these bad boys on here just like this All on here. Two. All right. There we go. That looks good. Now all we're gonna do is just cover them. We don't have to flip these or nothing. We're just gonna go ahead and cover it and let these cook for about roughly 15 minutes, and they should be good. All right, y'all. Well, it's been about five minutes. We're gonna check them out. Ooh, steamy. Boy, that looks good. Holy moly. All right, probably another five minutes, and they'll probably be done. They're looking pretty good. Got to go get my uh, handy-dandy fish tester, my fork. Okay, it's been another five minutes. Go ahead and see what we got here. Uh-oh. They are pretty much done. All right, I'm going to give it about three more minutes. Then we'll take them off. Got a little bit of a fire down there I gotta take care of. Well, all right, guys, I think these are done. So we'll go ahead and take these off. See how easy this is, guys? No mess. Just leave the scales on, the skin on your black drum, your red fish. Also, triple tail's really good this way. Sheep's head really good this way. Anything with some really big scales, Actually, even Pompano hardly has any scales. It's really good this way. Super easy. You're going to clean up is a cinch. You just turn it off, turn your gas off, and you're done, y'all. All right, y'all. There we go. There is our black drum on the half shell. So all I'm going to do now is take a little bit of fresh squeeze lime. You can use fresh squeeze, but I like using these little things right here. And that's it, guys. And that is done. All right, y'all. Well, I got some french fries getting ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. And then I'm going to go ahead and sit on the couch. I'm going to give this a taste test. Man, that looks awesome. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Got my black drum on the half shell. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bite of this. Look at that, guys. <laughs> wow. That is stupid good. <laughs> Holy crap. Man. Oh, my gosh. See how easy it comes off the skin? Perfect, guys.
that right there is phenomenal. That is restaurant quality seafood right there. That is amazing. Super simple. Just two, three ingredients basically. You get your Italian salad dressing. You get your black and red fish magic. Chef Paul's black and red fish magic. And some lime juice or some lemon juice. That's it. Saw how simple it was to cook on the grill. Pretty easy to clean. Just rip the fillets off. And you have a gourmet quality meal. I'm, it's awesome. It's excellent, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a while since we've done a catch and cook. I've just been really busy, just nonstop fishing and working, and it's just been hectic around here. But we finally got one in for y'all after many, many requests to do another catch and cook. So we got one for you. And hopefully we'll do some more here pretty soon. I'm going offshore with Captain Corey here in a couple days. Hopefully if the weather holds out. And hopefully we'll catch some stuff out there and we'll do another catch and cook. Well guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me this evening. Until I get to see you all again. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers. And thank you so much for everything you guys do for me. All your interaction, your thumbs up, your comments. You guys have been sending me stuff lately. You guys are just awesome. You humble me. You really do. You all mean the world to me. See you all soon guys. Hey Jerry Rockers, thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mug. I appreciate you guys very much. Go well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.